set up the fractions displays and contrast. Now, the FX570ES Plus calculator is a very advanced calculator and it's very flexible. Before you start using your calculators, you are advised to go to the setup menu to see what's the preference that you have and how you would like your calculators to perform. To do this, we go to the setup menu. Uh, first of all, let's switch on the calculators. Um, to go to the setup menus, we tap shift and then uh, setup. Okay, so this is the screen that we have. Let's have a closer look at this screen here. Uh, we can see that we have uh, this uh, max input output and the linear input output. This governs how are you going to input your data and how the answer is displayed. After that, we have the units of angle. So we have degree, radian, and gradient. These three are the units of angle. And after that, we have this uh, fixed number. This is, um, this is to tell how many decimal places that you want your calculator to displace. And uh, number seven is scientific notations. For scientific notations, we tell the calculators how many significant figures that we want for our answer. And uh, number eight is normal number. If you have set your calculators to fixed numbers or scientific notations, and then you want to change it back to normal numbers, then this is a place where you want to set it back to normal numbers. We are going to discuss this in another video. Max IO versus line IO. Now for me, this is the most important options that you need to make before you start using your calculator. As I said in previous slide, these two options governs how are you going to input your data and how your answer is displayed. Now let's have a rough idea is the difference between these two uh, methods of input and output. The max input output is also called the natural display and the linear input output is called the linear display. Let's say we would like to use a calculator to do some calculations about uh, fractions. Let's say we would like to calculate this. Now for uh, natural displays, this is the input and this is output. And you can see that this is exactly the same as this one. The natural displays use exactly the same formats that we use uh, when we write mathematic symbols and equations. For linear display, it's a little bit different, okay? So um, this is the linear display, this is the input and this is the output. We are going to discuss the linear displays in another video. Now let's have a look at um, the integration. So for the natural displays, as what we expected is exactly the same as the format here, but for linear displays, uh, it looks something like this. This is the input and this is the output. Uh, the next one is the differentiations. So for natural displays, again, it looks exactly the same. And for uh, linear displays, we have a line of functions like this. And the last one is the, the fourth root of 81. And again, uh, the natural displays show something exactly the same as the format here. And the linear displays show something which is a little bit different. Okay, so uh, this is the difference between uh, the max IO and the line IO. Now in your setup menu, we can also see that there's a small triangle here. Actually, this shows that we have another a screen for the setup and to go to another screen we use the down arrow key okay so this is the second screen for the setup the very first options that we have is the mixed number and the improper fractions this tells the calculators how you would like your answer uh, to be displayed for example if you choose mixed numbers then um, your answer will look something like this if uh, the answer is an improper fractions. But if you choose improper fractions, then the answer will be in uh, improper fractions. Okay. Uh, after that, we have complex numbers and uh, statistics. We will discuss this in another videos. And uh, number five, eh? okay. we can see that we have a choice for the decimal point. You can either choose a dot or a comma. If you choose a dot, then it will look something like this. And if you choose commas, then the decimal point will look something like this. Let's go back to the screen. Uh, the last one is about the contrast. Okay, so if you go to the contrast, then you can see that you can adjust the darkness of the characters displays on the screen.
So this is the basic setup that you can make to your calculators when you start using it.